<laughs> hey, check it out. Marco. Really? Come on. No. Marco. Hello. Uncharted 2 is considered by many people to be the best game in the series and was released back in 2009. Development for Uncharted 2 Among Thieves began immediately following the critical and commercial success of the first game. The development team drew inspiration from explorer Marco Polo and specifically from his expeditions through the archipelagos in Eastern Asia. Naughty Dog also aimed to improve the game's engine, creating the game to run exclusively on the company's Naughty Engine 2.0 system. This allowed the developers to record extensive motion capture and more in-game cinematic sequences. Uncharted 2 was my first introduction to the series, and at the time, this was extremely impressive. Uncharted 2 received rave reviews with many 9 and 10 out of 10s, but it's been over a decade since its original release. In my opinion, does Uncharted 2 still hold up today? Let's talk about it. We were, we were almost in that! <laughs> so let's start with the good. Uncharted 2 is a better game in almost every single way from the original. The biggest difference is in the story and characters. They were good in the first game, but Uncharted 2 really takes it up to another level in immersive storytelling. This really was one of the first games that when you finished it, you really thought, that could have been a movie. Now, let's not act like games weren't cinematic before Uncharted or anything, but it just did that aspect so well that it's what people remember when you think about Uncharted. Now, this game also had a massive step up in characters. We got our trio returning from the original game, but it slowly leaves after the first act, and Elena doesn't show up till about halfway through the game. And that's fine, because the characters we are with while they are absent are great. Flynn makes for a much, much better villain than anyone in the first game, I loved how you can tell that him and Drake have this past friendship and Flynn uses that to his advantage. Flynn isn't the main villain, but he's a lot more interesting than our main villain actually is. We are also introduced to Chloe, who was awesome. I didn't remember just how much she was in the game and her relationship with Drake. Before Elena shows back up, you are kind of led to believe that Chloe would just be like this game's new Bond girl. You know what I mean, right? How every Bond movie and Indiana Jones movie features a new love interest besides Indiana Jones 4 and the recent James Bond movies. But anyway, I really liked her character, how she plays both sides, and she seems to be loyal to Drake, but you're never quite sure till the end. Just a really awesome character that I'm glad got her own spin-off game, and I'm really looking forward to revisiting Lost Legacy now. And Drake himself is still a great character. Love his dialogue and interactions with everyone. I really enjoyed his relationship with Elena, and it was kind of funny how when she first showed up, he didn't really flirt with Chloe anymore. Uh, the dialogue when they all first run into each other is also great. I love that whole part. You gonna plunder a few temples? Loot the museum? Yeah, it's nice to see you two. And the main story of Uncharted 2 is looking for the Chintamani stone. It was good. I enjoyed the Nepal setting, a nice change of pace from the jungles from the first game. Now there is a jungle in this game in the first part. But for the most part, it's snow and mountains. And again, like with the first game, but even better here, the graphics are outstanding. At the time, I think a lot of us were convinced that this was the best games were ever going to look. And Uncharted 2 is where the big action set pieces really come into play. It's what this series is known for, and they are great and so much fun to experience, and they become a staple of the series. And I think it's why so many people remember Uncharted so fondly. It's because of these big, great set piece moments that even rival big Hollywood blockbusters. Also, the stealth works a lot better in Uncharted 2. I feel like if I wanted to, I could have actually gone through several areas completely stealth. Now, let's talk about what I didn't like as much. I might sound like a broken record here, but again, the combat. I will say this to the game's credit though, the combat is much better balanced than the story. The first game, it felt like it was never ending, but here it feels better. It's much more spaced out, at least in the first half of the game. The last few chapters gameplay-wise really broke me. I was loving this game and I wasn't that bothered by the combat because it wasn't as never-ending as the first game, but the last few chapters are arguably worse than anything in Uncharted 1. Just nothing but frustration, 
and occasionally the checkpoints weren't very nice and I'd be stuck replaying long stretches of combat over and over. It kind of killed my ultra positive mood that I had the entire game so far, but at least it's just towards the end of the game and not the entire game. And our main villain, Lazarovich, he was pretty generic. If it wasn't for Flynn backstabbing and Chloe switching sides or being a double agent, this entire side of the story would have been as forgettable as the first game. It's not as bad. And for a generic bald bad guy, he's alright, and his motivation I did feel was kind of weak. My last issue is actually with some of the platforming. For the most part it works perfectly and there isn't an issue, but every now and then you will feel like the game hates you and purposely made you jump to your death. This happened to me more than a few times and I wasn't a fan of starting the puzzle of climbing sections all over again because of a death that I felt like was out of my control. But overall, Uncharted 2 is a great sequel and is well deserving of its high place on many gamers' top games list. It's a super great, well-paced adventure with a few issues, and it is a major improvement over the first game, and leaves me excited to go back and experience Uncharted 3. The game that, if you were to ask me before replaying the series, I would have said was probably my favorite. What are your thoughts on Uncharted 2? Are you excited for the Uncharted movie? Let me know down below. Oh, <laughs> oh,